Hello, my name is Ishpa Shapia Haji Abdullah, a fourth year pharmacy student from University Brunei Darussalam. In this video, I'll be talking about dry skin and emollients. The contents of this video will be followed by the common questions, introduction to dry skin, factors, lifestyle changes, emollients, active ingredients, examples, choose the right product, tests, and lastly, reference. There are three common questions that people usually ask. Number one, why do you have dry skin? Number two, how to prevent and manage dry skin? Number three, how to choose the right product based on the skin? What is dry skin? Dry skin is a condition that results in scaling or flaking of dead skin cells that are often rough and moderately itchy. Dry skin is not related to a lack of oils in the skin, but rather to what loss from the skin surface, as shown in this video. Dry skin is a very common condition that can appear at any age. It often affects thighs, lower legs, sides of abdomen, and arms. The incidence of dry skin increases with age but can occur at any age depending on skin type, medical condition, chronic skin condition, and environmental factors. How do you know if you have dry skin? You have dry skin if you have rough scaly skin, itching, and dry flaky skin, as shown in this video. What are factors or causes contributing to the development of dry skin? Number one, showering in hot water too frequently or for a long period of time. Number two, swimming in chlorinated pools. Number three, use of harsh alkaline pH, perfumes, deodorant, or antibacterial soaps. Number four, overexposure to sun. Lastly, medical or skin conditions such as diabetes, contact dermatitis, eczema, and psoriasis. Lifestyle changes. You can avoid having dry skin or reduce the dry skinness by reducing showering in hot water too frequently or for a long periods of time, avoid using harsh alkaline pH, perfumes, deodorant, or antibacterial soaps, avoid Overexposure to the sun, use warm water, not hot water, use humidifier if the air is dry, lastly, drink plenty of water. These lifestyle changes may help to reduce the dryness of the skin, but further moisturizing may still be required, in which case emollients can be used. Emollients soothe, smooth, and hydrate the skin and are indicated for all dry skins. They can reduce dryness, help with itching, reduce scaling, and often cracks. They should be applied frequently at least 3 or 4 times a day, even after improvement occurs. Some people may need to increase this up to every hour if the skin is very dry. Any emollient must be sodium lauryl sulfate free, can be used as soap substitute, including the bath or shower. What happens if the product is not free SLS? It strips the skin of its natural oils, which causes dry skin irritation and allergic reaction. Emollients can be applied before or after any other treatments, for example, steroids, cream, but it is important to leave at least 30 minutes before applying the next treatment. What are the active ingredients in emollients? Based on the NICE guidelines, most emollient products are plain that contain no active ingredients. However, some emollients contain urea, which is used for hydrating agent, lauryl microgols, used to soothe and relieve itchy skin. Lastly, antiseptics, um, for example, of the chemical as benzyl conium chloride, uh, have a limited role in protecting skin, which is prone to infection. Emollients containing active um, ingredients are not generally recommended because they increase the skin reactions. However, they may be useful in some people. If the emollients containing any of these ingredients, they strengthen the natural protective function of dry and sensitive skin, 
increase elasticity and provide immediate prolonged hydration and revitalize the skin. What are the differences between creams and lotions? Creams are emulsions of oil and water and are generally well absorbed into the skin. They may contain an antimicrobial preservative. They are less greasy and easier to apply. Whereas for lotions, lotions have cooling effect and may be preferred for application over a hairy area. Emollients are readily available and can be purchased from supermarkets and pharmacies. Few examples that are available in Brunei are number 1. Aquamax. It quickly softens, protects, moisturizes dry, cracked, sore skin, can be used during pregnancy and lactation. It is free from sodium lauryl sulfate and it can be used as soap substitution. Number 2. Su Balm Dual Cooling Moisturizing Cream Body Wash. It is ideal for gentle cleansing on sensitive and dry skin. Skin feeling soothe, moisturize, refresh, and it is free from sulfate, fragrance, paraben, and preservative. Number 3. QV Cream. It replenishes the skin, helps repair dry areas, low irritant formulation, it is free from fragrance, color, lanolin, and propylene glycol. It is vacuum friendly and lastly, it is suitable for infants and elderly. Number 4. Vaseline Intensive Care Deep Restore Lotion. It is long-lasting moisturization. It contains um, micro droplets of Vaseline jelly which are effective in locking moisture in skin. Number 5. Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. It delivers lightweight, long-lasting. It is a 24-hour hydration. It is free from fragrance and paraben. And is, it is clinically tested hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic, which means they won't irritate the skin or clog the pores. Number 6. Nivea Express um, Hydration Body Lotion. It leaves your skin smoother, deeply moisturized for 48 hours after one application. Um, it is ultra light formula that observes in seconds. How to choose the right product based on the skin? Number one, the effectiveness and the accessibility of a particular emollient may vary with time. Number two, it may be necessary to try a range of emollients before you settle on the best combination. To take note, you should monitor your skin daily for 7 to 10 days after starting the treatment uh, for improvement in symptoms and seek medical attention if the condition uh, worsens or shows no improvement. In this part of the video, um, this is just a mini test to test you out whether you understand or understood the information given based on the common questions uh, that usually people ask. So let's start. Number one, why do you have dry skin? A, sleeping. B, showering in hot water too often. C, dieting. The answer for this question is B, showering in hot water too often. Uh, I hope you did correctly. Number two, how to prevent and manage dry skin? A. Avoid prolonged exposure to sunlight. B. Just sleep. C. Do nothing. The answer for this question is A. Avoid prolonged exposure to sunlight. Lastly, number three, how to choose the right product based on the skin? A. No need. B. Just choose one for the rest of your life. C. It might be necessary to try a range of emollients before you settle on the best combination. The answer for this question is C. It may be necessary to try a range of emollients before you settle on the best combination. If you answer three questions correctly, well done! Thank you for watching. Bye bye!